Hello, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. In this episode, we will mention how face recognition works and common stages of modern face recognition pipelines. We are going to use pre-built face recognition models provided by DeepFace framework. These are VGG Face, Open Face, Google FaceNet, and Facebook DeepFace. If you haven't installed DeepFace framework yet, then you can uh, call the pip install DeepFace command in your command prompt or any cell of your notebook. Face recognition models in pipelines are responsible for extracting vector emetics of faces. In other words, we will fit some face features into those face recognition models and those models will return vector embeddings. For example, VGG face expects 224 times 224 times 3 input size of uh, images and it returns 2622 dimensional vectors as an output. We also applied some reduction into images. For example, here output is 57 times smaller than the input. Modern face recognition pipelines consist of four common stages. The first and second are alignment and detection. Here we handled detection and alignment steps. And the uh, third stage of the pipeline is representation. Representation means extracting vector embeddings of face images, as I mentioned in the previous cell. Let's represent two input images here notice that uh, the bot r image one.jpg here let's check the output of the uh, representation that's 2622 dimensional uh, vector as i mentioned let's expand the output vectors here and plot them here those input images are represented 2622 dimensional vectors here and these are the vector representations notice that horizontal axis has 2622 slots but in the uh, vertical uh, there is no information you can think uh, these graphs as uh, legacy barcodes and we have represented vector embeddings with uh, here colors for example as seen there are some uh, green colors here in some slots and this means that uh, these are negative values and there are uh, lots of blue slots this means that uh, these are close to zero the final stage of a modern face recognition pipeline is verification step and we can apply it with uh, comparing these two vectors here the easiest way to apply verification is to check its euclidean distance value to calculate the euclidean distance between two image one and image two vectors we need to find the difference of uh, these two vectors first then find its squared value and it's going to be the distance vector let's see the content of distance vector here uh, Euclidean distance is going to be the sum of each dimension of distance vector then we need to find its square root value as square t and it's going to be the distance Here distance is zero because uh, the both images are same. We will change the content of the second image in the following steps and the dis distance value will be changed. But I would like to uh, plot the uh, distance vector here. That's why I'm going to expand the uh, distance vector value 200 times. Actually, this equal to vertical uh, size of this barcodes. And after the for loop, 
I'm going to convert the uh, distance graph to NumPy array. Now uh, I can plot uh, the distance vector. Let's add a subplot here. Uh, this is going to be the number five. And here I'm going to plot the distance graph. And uh, I forgot to put here the bar. The distance vector is plot, but I'd like to uh, move this uh, vector representation into the second column. That's why I'm going to add here a dummy subplot. Dummy subplot. Uh, this is going to be the five subplot and that's why it's going to be the number of six and i don't want to show anything here that's why i set its visibility as false the distance vector is represented here and uh, it's all slots are zero it's expected because the both images are same and its difference should be zero as well. Let's try this for different images. For example, this time the distance value is 0 0.5. I seen uh, different images of Angela Julie and these are the vector representations of these two images and here you can find the distance vector in the distance graph most slots are in uh, green this means uh, these are zero and uh, some slots are blue this means that these slots are greater than zero and actually we need the Euclidean distance and we already calculated it here in the distance variable at s0.5 here we will say this if the distance value of uh, these two images is less than for example 0.55 then these are same otherwise uh, these two images are not same person because we expect that including distance of the vector embeddings of two images belonging to same person should be low otherwise different persons vector embeddings have arch Euclidean distance values let's try this for a different image pair And as seen in this case, it returns false because its distance value is greater than uh, 0 0.35. And these are the distance vector. And uh, as seen, there are more uh, blue slots here. You can apply this for, uh, for example, Google FaceNet face recognition model instead of VGG face. This time Google FaceNet expects 160 times 160 times 3 inputs and it returns 128 dimensional vectors and as an output. And this time we apply 600 times reduction. And for example, let's represent two images of Angie and Julie here again and find the distance vector I don't need to uh, print distance vector here anymore find Euclidean distance value here I expanded vector representations and let's plot as seen this time we have a small set of vector representation because of the output of the Google FaceNet model. Now we will check the distance value uh, 
is less than 10 for Google FaceNet model because each model has different threshold value check for the different person images this time Google FaceNet uh, doesn't verify uh, these two images because uh, its distance value is greater than 10 so we have mentioned a modern face recognition pipeline in this video a modern face recognition pipeline consists of four common stages first one is first detection here we detected the face and the second is alignment we experiments show that alignment increases the accuracy of face recognition uh, models almost one percent the third one is representation here uh, we fit these input images into uh, face recognition models these face recognition models return uh, those vector embeddings last one is verification or classification to verify two images we actually find the Euclidean distance of uh, those two vectors and uh, if it's less than a threshold value then we classify it as they are same thank you all for watching and uh, see you next time